For over three decades, the province of Chibut, the Wildlife Conservation Society, and the University of Washington have worked together on the longest collaborative study on penguins in the world. In 2005, the Global Penguin Society joined the effort. With more than 210,000 breeding pairs of penguins at Punta Tumbo, it's the largest Magellanic colony in the world. The first penguins settled on land owned by the La Regina family in the mid-1920s. As the colony grew, the family wanted to protect the penguins and share this natural wonder with the world. In 1972, they donated 210 hectares of their sheep ranch to create a provincial reserve, and later they gave another 14 hectares for the Center for Interpretation. Penguins are an important tourist attraction in Argentina, attracting more than 100,000 visitors a year. People are not interested in killing penguins, but this was not always true. In the early 1980s, there was a proposal to kill penguins for their oil, protein, and leather. Although no one talks about harvesting penguins now, penguins continue to face threats. Mismanagement of fisheries, oil pollution, climate change, and unsustainable development can harm the colony. Dr. D. Borsman and her team of students study in detail the lives of penguins to protect them on land and at sea. Gathering the information needed to learn about penguins is time-consuming and challenging. Volunteers and students often work from sunrise to sundown checking colorfully flagged nests, looking for banded or marked penguins, counting eggs, measuring chicks, and determining reproductive success. Penguins are social and curious seabirds. There are some that are more than 30 years old. One pair mated for 16 years. Others divorce and in the following year will be living within a few meters of their previous mate. Although penguins can nest in the open, they often dig burrows or nest under a bush as the shade protects them from the hot sun. When it's too hot, they pant to keep cool, but high temperatures can kill adults and chicks. From mid-January until late February, young penguins leave their parents and head to sea to find food. They spend the winter off the coast of northern Argentina, Uruguay, or southern Brazil. Juveniles may return the following year in late December but most return as adults when they're four to seven years old and ready to breed. Technology shows that penguins are amazing athletes. They can swim more than 170 kilometers in a day. They can dive over 90 meters deep. They're so anxious to bring food to their chicks that they swim at the same speeds day and night. When chicks are small, parents feed their chicks every day or two. When chicks are bigger, Chicks are left alone, and parents return every three to four days to feed them. Parents that are successful raising chicks usually forage within 100 kilometers of Punta Tombo. The number of breeding pairs is declining by 1% a year. Beach surveys in the 1980s showed that 80% of the penguins dead were covered in oil. In 1997, tanker lanes in Chibut were moved 40 kilometers further from the coast and oily ballast water no longer was dumped. Now a few penguins have oil on their feathers. A challenge for breeding pairs is lack of food close to Punta Tombo. Every year, about 40% of the chicks die from starvation and 10% are eaten by predators. In the last 30 years, global climate change has increased rainfall at Punta Tombo. Rain can collapse burrows, soak chicks, and wet chicks, if they get cold, die. In 1991, one rainstorm killed 50% of the chicks. Weight says a lot about a penguin's body condition, but penguins are difficult to catch and weigh. Specially designed scales allow penguins to weigh themselves as they enter and leave the colony. By weighing penguins, we can evaluate if a marine protected area at Punta Tombo results in penguins bringing more food to their chicks. Penguins are marine sentinels, sounding the alarm on the declining conditions of our oceans. By listening to these penguins, 
and modifying our behavior, we can help penguins and other wildlife thrive at Punta Tombo.